Hello again, everybody. Wayback Sports Cards, and we're here today with a, another box break for you. We're doing uh, 1995 Tops Embossed Major League Baseball cards. Got a 24 pack box here. I've taken uh, one pack, I've opened already. Um, so I'm going to show you a few cards, and then a couple I put off to the side for a, a giveaway that I'll be doing at some point in 2022. But before I get to the packs, I did want to show you these uh, cards. Um, here's a Barry Larkin base card. You can see as I uh, try to move it a little bit, the embossed cards, you can see they're raised a little bit as the light hits it. So there you go. You can see a little bit of the um, 3D-esque embossment of the cards on the back. The previous year's stats, some personal stats, a color photo, and some did you know about the players. Um, so that's the base card. And then each pack has a gold card, and this is the Ricky Henderson that I pulled out. And uh, you can see the gold um, embossment on that card. And then on the back, um, you know, just the same numbering and the same kind of um, information on the back of the card right there. And actually the back is embossed as well. You can see that right there. So I'm gonna get into these. Before I do, I'm gonna share a little bit of information on the screen about the product. Um, as I do, I'm going to tell you a few things about it. There's, um, 140 cards in the set. There are no inserts. So this is kind of junk wax-ish. The only insert is the gold card, which is really more of a parallel. And this is 1995. So this is when Topps had their base Topps product, Topps Stadium Club, Topps Finest. Um, and this being, I, I guess, their fourth product, if, um, unless I'm missing something. So this was kind of their way to kind of branch out a little bit. So um, here we go. We've got, I got the pack in my hand right here, 1995 Tops and Boss Major League Baseball. And I'm going to get right to it. I got this box for uh, $30 at a local hobby shop in their uh, junk wax pile, so to speak. So, um, again, six cards per pack, one golden idol is what they call. So there's the uh, Eddie Murray, and you can see Rookie of the Year 1977. So this is um, the Eddie Murray card. And then we're going to go through. Here we go. And a little bit of flipping that needs to be done here. But 140 players, so the star selection should be pretty good. You got Pedro Martinez right there. Andres Galarraga, so right off the bat, three really good cards. Your gold card is uh, Ray Lankford. There you go. There's the Ray Lankford, Chuck Nagy, and uh, Bip Roberts. So there you go. That's the first pack down. You can see right off the bat, even the uh, non-star players are still Charles Nagy, Bip Roberts, semi-stars of the day. So they're still pretty good players. Um, I don't think we're going to find too many... Um, we'll find some commons. There we go. Gary Sheffield right out of the pack, but you can see this one kind of got a little damaged already. A little bit of bricking in this product as well, I guess. So I'm having a little bit of problem tearing these apart. Um, David Justice showing Rookie of the Year, part of the base set. Mike Stanley with the Yankees, who was an all-star, I believe, in 95. Um, here we go. Bobby Bonilla, the Mets, uh, Met fans' favorite player these days. And I say that tongue-in-cheek. Um, we've got the gold card of John Valentin, which looks, honestly, um, deformed. Um, not the best embossing there, but, um, there you have it. And the Tom Pagnazzi card. Got Tom Glavin, Cy Young winner. And again, a little bit of little bit of bricking here. Uh, Doug Drabeck, Cy Young Award winner from 1990s there with the Astros. Andy Bennis, former number one pick. Uh, Luis Gonzalez there with the Astros. And the gold card is of Raul Mondesi former Rookie of the Year with the Dodgers. All right. 
we got a Manny Ramirez, early career Manny Ramirez. Very nice. What else we got? And you can see these are on thicker card stock to address the embossing. Ryan Thompson with the Mets. Paul O'Neill of the Yankees, 94 AL batting champ. And we've got our last three, Tino Martinez, still with the Mariners. We joined the Yankees the following season in 96, replacing Don Mattingly. Uh, another Mariner, Jay Buhner. And the gold card of Jeff Montgomery, Royals closer at the time. So, you know, for the embossment on the cards, it's really kind of a no frills product. You're not, there's no chase cards really other than the, um, the parallel, which really isn't a chase card anyway. Chuck Knobloch, uh, Dean Palmer, Dante Bichette. Our gold card is of Sweet Lou Whitaker. And our last card there of uh, Darren Dutch Dalton. I think when people bought this product in 95, they thought they were getting more of a high-end product, but this is really, I don't know, I think it's more junk wax than anything else. There's really no chase cards, no rookie cards here either. So there's not a whole lot to go after. Uh, Greg Maddox, there we go. Orlando Merced of the Pirates. And our last three cards, Ken Ryan, which is about as uh, common as you get. Chuck Finley and the gold card of the great Fred McGriff. And you can see a little bit of the bricking has damaged the card on the surface. So we'll hold on to it. But um, yeah, this, the fact that this product is probably stored with other boxes on top of it and it's kind of caused the, the glossiness of the cards to stick together. We've seen this a lot. If you've watched our other videos, a lot of mid nineties product is victim to that. Terry Steinbach. We've got a Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer, square in a bunt, maybe pulling the bat back. Jimmy Key, Yankees ace, Back in that 95 era, we've got the Moose, Mike Mussina, Orioles ace. We've got Big Daddy Cecil Fielder. And our gold card of William Van Landingham. And it looks off-centered quite a bit, too, which is interesting. You would think by 95 they worked out the off-centeredness, but it's that one's really poorly off-centered which I think kind of lends itself to what I'm trying to say here, which is this is a whack, this is junk wax in disguise. I think people bought this thinking it was a premium product, but really I, I don't think it's much more than um, junk wax in a shiny pack. So let me know what you think. Uh, Alex Fernandez, Jimmy Key is our gold card. Uh, and then we've got Roberto Alomar and uh, Ryan Klesko. There with the Braves. So there we go. We've got The Rock, Tim Raines, not Dwayne Johnson. Sandy Alomar Jr. Mark Langston, high leg kick. And our last two cards, or three cards, Lance Johnson. Sean Dunstan, and the gold card is of Rafael Palmero. Not a not a bad one there. That's we got him actually in our first pack. If you watched our pack break on um, on Instagram, we did find a base Palmero in that pack. So um, Brett Saberhagen with the Mets. His reign with the Mets did not go particularly well. Got David Cohn. There with the Royals, 94 Cy Young Award winner. Fred McGriff, base card. We've got Bobby Jones, Travis Fryman, and our gold card is Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer. So uh, pretty good there. And again, I got this box, 24 packs for 30 bucks. So I guess got these for a little bit more than a dollar a pack. 
I don't think you really want to pay a lot more than that here. Um, I Pretty much the best card you're going to be able to get out of these is going to be a Griffey or a Griffey Gold card. We got Eddie Murray here. Chuck Nagy, Bip Roberts. So you see, we're already getting duplicates. Um, Bobby Jones, Andres Galarraga again, and uh, Tim Wallach. And these cards don't stack particularly well. I'm just holding this fairly level. And you can see the embossment really kind of doesn't lend itself to stacking of these cards. So um, it's just a strange product. It's the mid nineties and companies are just trying to see what kind of products are gonna stick with the fans, trying to be different. And that's what Topps is doing here. I think they only did this for, maybe they did this another year, but this may have been the only year of, of embossed. But there you go, Kirby Puckett, a good one to pull right there. The Rocket, Roger Clemens, you see his MVP and his three Cy Youngs up until that point. Uh, Ray Lankford, and then the last three, Javi Lopez, Brian Anderson, and the gold card of the chef. Gary Sheffield, and again, you see the bricking just kind of damaging that card right there. The gold is kind of coming off. It's the last card in the stack, so it's just... I wish the gold was kind of on the top of the top card, but um, it doesn't seem like we have that kind of luck here in how they package these. So we got Walt Weiss, another Greg Maddox, and again, these... Didn't expect these to brick quite as much as they do, but they really are here. This is uh, taking up more time than I had hoped for six card packs. Barry Larkin gold, so there you go. We've got the base and the gold, Barry Larkin. Put that right there. Chuck Finley and uh, Tino Martinez are the last two cards. We found ourselves the Iron Man himself, Cal Ripken Jr. Always a welcome find in any pack. Big Mac, Mark McGuire, Rookie of the Year from 87. So anybody that's got like an award, they kind of show up in a silver. Uh, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Uh, our third Tino Martinez, but this one is gold. And then the last two cards, Luis Gonzalez and uh, Will Cordero. We got ourselves a Chuck Knobloch yet again. Uh, Dean Palmer. Dante Bichette. Rick Aguilera. Gold card, and you see the bricking. Damaging that one yet again. And then we've got Wally Joyner and a Darren Dalton that I'm not even going to pry apart there. Got a Robin Ventura. Got the Man of Steel himself, Ricky Henderson. That's the base version. So there you have the base and the gold of Ricky Henderson. So we've got a companion there to go with the Barry Larkin, Brady Anderson, great Oriole. We've got Sandy Alomar, gold card, and then uh, Tommy Green and Royce Clayton round out the packs. Got about five more to go here. Ruben Sierra with that High, high leg kick. Bob Hamlin, the hammer, rookie of the year in 1994. Fortunately, it didn't last a whole lot longer in the majors. Um, and then our last few cards here, Tom Candiotti, the knuckleballer, Carlos Baerga. Indian fans loved Baerga back in the day. Chuck Finley and another Barry Larkin. This pack features uh, Eric Karros, another Greg Maddox, 
I think that's our third, maybe. Ken Ryan. Cliff Floyd. Our gold card is of Cal Ripken Jr. Might be one of the five or six best cards you could possibly get in this box with the gold. And it's actually not too damaged there. And we got Brent Gates, who we don't have to spend much time with here. Three more here on this Junk Wax Trip Down Memory Lane. Eric Karos. Ozzy Guillen, a former Rookie of the Year in 85. Brent Gates. I do like the silver element on award winners. I think that's kind of cool. Um, Dante Bichette, gold, kind of off-centered there. And then the last two cards, Jeff Conine and uh, Steve Traxel. Two more to go. Mike Piazza, and actually a really cool picture. Got him in full crouch. I think that's a pretty cool looking card. Also uh, memorializing his Rookie of the Year award. We've got Jose Valentin, Dave Hollins, Steve Traxel again, who is our gold card. And then we got Cliff Floyd and uh, Will the Thrill Clark. Last pack in the box. John Wetland, we've got, ooh, we've got Barry Bonds here coming up with his three MVP awards memorialized there. Rick Aguilera, we've got Big Mac, Big Mac Gold Card. Might be one of the five or ten best cards there in the set. And then Big Unit and Jay Bell. So there you go. There's the Big Unit. So there you have it. That is... 1995 tops embossed baseball cards. Overall, I'd say for 30 bucks, I wouldn't pay a whole lot more than that. There's not a ton here, 140 cards. Um, the gold cards look good. I mean, we've got some good ones. McGuire, we found a good Cal Ripken. Um, we got the Henderson, Larkin, a lot of good players here, but um, I don't know. I don't know that there's a ton of bang for your buck. If you can get this for 20 bucks, you're probably doing really well, but 30, Probably on the higher end of what I would be willing to pay. But let me know if you have any of these or, or uh, what you think about the product. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, that's the end of this video. We thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone. So long.